Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. And I can tell that you can see on my bar right now, I have a collection of these bourbon decanters. Well, one's Tennessee whiskey, but you know, whatevs. They're right over the border, right? Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, these decant, not these decanters in particular, but you know, you might be at an estate sale, a yard sale, antique mall, shopping on eBay, yard sale, whatevs. Might be looking for an infinity bottle um, for your bourbon infinity bottle. And you run across something that looks like any of these. I have a couple of these decanters up on my eBay, in my eBay store for sale. Um, but you might be wondering, what, what are these? What, you know, what, what's the deal? So, you know, I, cause I wondered as well, why did these distilleries put their products, their fine aged bourbon into these decorative decanters? Well, did a little digging, <laughs> and you can thank the fine folks at Jim Beam for starting the craze. That's why right, Jim Beam Bourbon, back in 1953, realized that they had been sitting on barrels and barrels and barrels of bourbon. Why is that? Because nobody was, well, I didn't, shouldn't say nobody was buying it, but it had become less popular by the early 50s than it had previously. Now, <clears throat> I did a video on what did they drink in the Old West, and bourbon was very popular in the Old West, um, very popular in the 1800s. I found Kentucky bourbon, son. And uh, by the time... I don't want to say even prohibition, but you know, the early part of the 1900s, you know, you had World War I going on, and then um, prohibition started. And with that, you had a decrease in the popularity of whiskey and, in particular, bourbon, and you had clear liquids, clear spirits, such as gin. Uh, uh, gin and vodka martinis were more you know were the in drink in the 20s you had gin joints and um you know the the desire and the the uh popularity of whiskey declined <clears throat> so sitting on these barrels of bourbon that no hardly anyone well i shouldn't say hardly that fewer people were buying well jim beam no, undoubtedly probably looked at Avon, which is a makeup and perfume and aftershave marketing company that likewise in the 50s and 60s and 70s had collectible decanters <laughs> that they put their products in. And uh, so this is kind of, I kind of ca call this Avon for men, right? Um, you have your alcohol based fluids inside these beautiful decanters. Uh, the decanters were more popular than what was inside of them, which is good for us if we do find them these days unopened and still sealed. Now, uh, as you can see, Jim Beam had a variety of decanters <clears throat> right there. Uh, other companies like Four Roses, I shouldn't say companies, distilleries, Four Roses, Ezra Brooks, Old Fitzgerald um, have had their decanters as well. Then you had these ones like this one's called Lionstone Dis uh, Distillery. And from what I could tell, it was either Wild Turkey or Four, Four Roses. Unfortunately, a lot of these had these cork stoppers. So this is what happens when cork meets <laughs> whiskey for a long period of time. Let's see if we can get that back on her. It's, it's gonna fall off, so let's put her right there. Um, 
So you have to kind of filter out the sentiment <clears throat> if that happens. And I do have a video on that on my channel. Tennessee Whiskey also got into the act. Most famously, George Dickel. This is their 1964 inaugural decanter, which is a powder horn. But it was also more famously used, as I've documented on my channel, as the prop for Saurian Brandy in the original Star Trek series. Gosh, they give me the brandy! Yeah, there we go. So, uh, there you go. <clears throat> Nerds and geeks, as well as bourbon whiskey lovers, can unite. And, uh, you know, by the time of the 80s, this train car series, I have two of these train cars that are unopened from 1981. Actually, I have three. Uh, one of the cars is going to a buddy of mine in Idaho. But uh, the, the smaller car had eight-year-aged Jim Beam. The the two cars like this are like I think twelve and one third years aged, one hundred and fifty months, and I believe it is. Oh, I'd have to look. I think it's a um, eighty proof, but I'll double check that when I do the opening, unboxing, tasting video for that. But um. Yeah, by the time of the 1990s, Jim Beam shut down the Regal China Company, which was their producer for these decanters, uh, noting still that it just wasn't practical. Hardly anyone was buying now the decanters because fewer people were putting bars in their basement like this with the shelves and people would display these things on their shelves, usually unopened, which is good news for us, right? Because when we find them, we can drink them. And, uh, you know, people are more into exercise and, and everything, so putting home gyms in their basements. And if you do happen to go to an area, like we'll go up into the Detroit area, where in the suburbs there's these... Uh, mid-century modern homes, people living in there for decades, and most of those homes have finished basements, and of those homes that have the finished basements, most of those have these bars in them, still with these decanters unopened a lot of times, with excellent bourbon inside. So there you go, a little brief history of these decanters. Um, and who knows, we might start seeing decanters again, uh, in our liquor stores because it seems bourbon has hit its high mark and watch YouTube, look for the next big liquor that's, that's coming up. And I think that's going to be tequila, which I don't care for. So Everyone, you can go start drinking your tequila. I'll start buying cheap bourbon. <laughs> the stuff that's $100 now might be blown out at $25 a bottle next year. Who knows? I hope, I sure hope so. So there you are. Um, until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour, and we'll catch you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.